everybody. Welcome back to the Saturday edition of Motherboards.org. Today, we're going to be looking at a brand new flash drive from the people over at Super Talent. This is the Super Talent USB 3.0 Express RC8 flash drive. Now, this thing's geared to be super duper fast and super duper reliable. Now, why do I say these things? Well, it's rumored to have the most fastest read and write speeds of any external drive that we've yet looked at. It also has an advanced caching system, and it also features something down here that they're calling the advanced wear leveling algorithm. Now the advanced wear level algorithm is supposed to maintain your drive for much longer. Now you guys know there's only a certain amount of read and writes that are available on an SSD. Now the technology in this new RC from SuperTalent, it features eight channel technology, making everything transfer faster. And with this new technology that we just talked about a second ago, the drive's supposed to last longer and have more writes to the drive before failure. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, take a look at it, plug it in and then we'll see how fast it is. As far as the life of it goes, I won't be able to tell that until a few weeks later as we use it, but this is the 50 gigabyte version. It comes to market at about 169. So right now, let's just go ahead and give you guys a close up of the box. Flip the box around to the back. Not much to that whatsoever, so I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cap here on the top. The drive itself just slides out. There's plastic, that's it. So go ahead and pop the little bad boy out. So let's get this up to the camera so you guys can see it. You guys can see the blue inside designates that it's USB 3.0. And so that's pretty much it. That's the drive itself, not much to a flash drive. But now let's plug this bad boy in and see if it's as fast as it's rumored to be. Let's go. Okay, folks, so now we're going to plug in the USB 3.0 RC8 into our single available USB 3.0 port on the back of our motherboard. If you plan on buying this drive, make sure that you plug it into a USB 3.0 port or you will not get the proper speeds. You guys can now see the drive is automatically detected in Windows. And as I go into my computer, you can see it shows up as 51.1 gigabytes free of 51.2 gigabytes. So it's actually even a little bit bigger than they claim, which is unusual because most people cheat and they'll call a 50 gigabyte drive a 50 gigabyte when it's only 48 gigabytes actually available. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so I've plugged in the device and now I'm gonna run a couple of different tests and then show you guys the results. You guys didn't really seem to like it when I showed the results running, so I'm not gonna bore you with that shit this time, but I'm gonna go ahead and run Addo and ASSD, so let's check those scores out now. All right, folks, so there you have it. You guys can see how fast this new RCA is from the people over at Super Talent. Now, we're seeing 190 megabytes per second on the read and 170 megabytes per second on the write. Now, this drive has a rumored maximum performance level of 270 megabytes per second on the read and 240 megabytes per second on the write. Now, this thing uses a Sandforce controller, has a five-year warranty, and speeds are gonna depend on what kind of board you're using. Like I said, the scores that we showed might be different on your motherboard. We're using the ASUS motherboard, we're using the Extreme 5 motherboard, that's the Maximus Extreme 5, and the controller on there is getting those speeds. But now on the ASUS board, you can also use what they call USB Boost. I'm gonna be doing another video on that in the future. But the scores that you just saw right now should be probably about the average that you're gonna see on most systems. So this drive is really, really fast. For people out there who transfer video every day for a living, this could be a benefit to you because you don't want to just sit around waiting forever for that information to transfer from computer to computer. 
So with that said, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so because we're always having great giveaways and stuff going on here at motherboards.org. So thanks for watching and we'll see you back here on the channel tomorrow for the Sunday edition. Peace out.